A new date for the race with an altered course was set to test the participants' abilities to their optimum. 2015 champion Joshua Kipkorir was touted as one of the favorites with 2016 third place finisher Hilary Kiplimo also targeting a podium finish. Light showers early Sunday morning threatened to disrupt the race, but it did not dampen the resolve of the participants. The men's 42 kilometers race started off at a steady pace, led by Jonathan Korir Kipleting, who set the tempo clocking 20.24 minutes and 35.28 minutes at the 7th and 12th kilometers splits. Just over the halfway mark, Roger Skirop was at the helm before he was dislodged by Misoi, who steadily pulled away from the leading group. He never looked back and was crowned king of the standard charted Nairobi Marathon despite injuring his left arm. He upstaged Shadrach Kipto to clock 2 hours, 12 minutes and 39 seconds. Towards the finish line and he's coming to finish Bremen, Kip career. He has gone there. Kip to clock 2 hours, 12 minutes and 52 seconds, while Joshua Kip Korir, the 2015 champion, settled for third. In the women's race, Celestine Chepchirchir timed her race to perfection as she had a solid display of front running, beating her closest finishers with a personal best time of 2 hours, 31 minutes and 4 seconds. She led for the better part of the race to clinch the top spot, edging her opponents by more than three minutes. Chepchirchir, who had been training without a manager, was overrun by emotion after her maiden victory. Yes. That is the winner of the women's foot. Look at how emotional she is. In the 21 kilometers race, Felix Kibitok dominated the men's race while Valerie Ayabe was peerless in the women's. The 10 kilometers, the fan mili fan race, the CEOs and wheelchair races attracted large numbers as well. The event served as a platform for promoting awareness and raising funds for the eradication of avoidable blindness among children under the age of nine years. As you recall, the marathon is usually held in October, um, but this year because of the challenges that we had around that time, uh, we had to shift the date from October to um, you know, last, last Sunday of November. The podium finishers in the 42 kilometers and 21 kilometers races were each rewarded with cash prizes. 1.5 million Kenya shillings! Bernard Ndong for Sunday Live.